So here we go. Uh, this is my Vampire Night Unit I made from the Raging Heroes uh, Orphanage Sisters models. I actually have more of these as regular knights, but I think these were my pinnacle of painting and putting these together. Um, they are a little tricky. I would suggest do not ever put these all together first and then paint them. Just do not do it. Um, make them all separate, paint them separate, glue them separate, and dry fit the entire time. Now as you see, I use these Blood Crows as unit spacers because they don't really rank up very well when you um, do a more dynamic spear pose because they go sideways really far, they go inwards very far. So if you want these to rank up like normal cavalry, uh, I would say either dry fit your spear tips so they all go in line or kind of take your models and kind of skew them out at 90 de at like 45 degree angles so there's no real issue of them coming into contact um, the easiest way to do this however is to do what I did and create cavalry spacers so the models have a lot more room to breathe more room to have you know the action to them that and it does help you kind of space out the unit when you're you know for cost you know so you say so you need like 20 of these you can buy 10 of the models, 10 fillers, and now you have your 20 knights. Um, I really enjoyed doing these in the vampire uh, motif. I, it was just a blast to paint. These are going to be gaming pieces, so I didn't go super crazy on the details because during gaming, you all know, these things are going to get damaged. They're going to break. And I feel less of like a heart throb when they when they when they break when they're not like a super well defined painted thing. I wanted these to be kind of a table tabletop plus painting, and I'm no professional in any way, shape, or form. All right, I mean I just get the paint on there as best I can, make sure they look good, and call call it a day. But I think they're gonna look good on the tabletop. They're gonna look good with all my skeletons, and I can use these for vampire characters on horseback as well so I'm really really excited to use these on the tabletop and see what other gamers I um, uh, when other gamers see them how they're gonna think of them I could have gone a lot more deep in the details to do more silver and gold everywhere and but I, I knew that these are gonna get absolutely messed up on the game table because I you know I, I'm a big ogre handed doofus so I tend to break shit <laughs> when I put it together so this video will show them in their true unbroken nature for all to see as a pinnacle thing, but that's how they're going to stay. So I'm going to leave you all to it. Keep a strong dice end out there, and happy wargaming.